Hi guys, welcome back. Last week, we talked about house training a new puppy, handling exercises. This week, we're gonna continue with how to train a puppy to not bite all the time. When I walk into a home that has a new puppy, that is one of the first questions that they ask. How do I stop my puppy from biting? What do I do? In this video, many ways to train your puppy to not bite all the time. Welcome to Diamond Dog Training. I'm Joyce, and here we offer you positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. If you're new to my channel, please remember to press that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you receive all the episodes. Well, you've just gotten a new puppy and your sweet little puppy has now turned into a shark, biting your fingers every time you go to touch them. But what do you do? When a puppy bites your fingers or your arm, they're testing, they're using their mouth to test. Well, it hurts. And so the first thing you can try is to do a little ow or an ouch. Now you're trying that. A young puppy, maybe up to 10 or 11 weeks, when they hear that, they just might back off and say, oh, I hurt you, because that's what their litter mate would do to help to show the puppy that they had bitten them too hard. The next thing that litter mate would do would be is to walk away and not play with them anymore. So if you go, ow, and your puppy backs up, looks at you, kind of apologizes, then that's good. Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up, you're gonna turn your back on your puppy, and you're gonna cross your arms, and you're gonna stand there, and you're going to say nothing for about 30 seconds. But you're going to put your hand out to your puppy. They might even lick, because they didn't wanna hurt you, they were just testing those little teeth. And now you know that you've made some progress and your puppy has learned that biting hurts you because you stop playing with them. There are some puppies who when you say ow or ouch, they get more excited. You don't want that. You wanna calm your puppy down. So you don't wanna use those words anymore, but you do want to stand up, turn around and ignore your puppy. If your puppy starts to nibble on your toes or your feet, then just walk out of the room, walk behind a baby gate, let your puppy know that you won't play with them because they aren't playing nice. Your puppy will learn very quickly because the one thing in the world he wants is his playmate to play with them. And if you walk out of the room, he is going to say to himself, what did I do? And therefore, he is going to understand if I don't bite their fingers, they continue to play with me. We've just addressed what to do when a puppy bites. Yes, the biting will decrease, but there are so many other things you can do to help your puppy. One of the first things we can do to help puppy biting is to do handling exercises. And with handling exercises, you're going to hold a treat, or you're gonna hold the Kong, and you're going to pet your puppy. So Nikki is helping me today. So we're gonna take the Kong, which has food in it, and we're gonna hold the Kong to Nikki. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start to pet her. We're gonna start petting on the shoulder, on the chest, we're gonna pet her over her ears, around her face. These are handling exercises, and they will help your puppy to believe that being handled is good. You can sit down with your kids. An adult or an older child can hold the Kong, and the younger kids can pet the puppy. Kongs are a great way to help a puppy to understand that hands are good and they're not supposed to bite at them. They're puppy Kongs, so therefore they're the ones you need to use up until your puppy finishes teething. We've just addressed what to do when a puppy bites. Yes, the biting will decrease, but there are so many other things you can do to help your puppy. We wanna make sure that puppy are rewarded for things that are good. When you walk up to your puppy, have a toy in your hand, play with your puppy with the toy so they know that you bring things. Walk up with a treat, hold the treat in your hand and pet the puppy. All those positive things 
are gonna help your puppy to diminish their biting. I'm going to put the playlist above How To Puppy and also in the description below so you can see many videos on how to train your puppy. Please leave me some comments below. I hope this video has given you some tips to train a puppy to not bite all the time. Thanks from Diamond Dog Training and from Joyce. Bye-bye.